you know uh, I, i mean you can call it road block i would use the word challenge in a way look the, it's not a, a a problem specific necessarily to india the biggest problem has been that at every uh, cop at every meeting you get promises of finance and it's really like groundhog day you have that same conversation one year later the next meeting and if you look back from kyoto onwards the fact is that uh, the promises of climate finance have never been taken seriously by the developed countries you know they they keep saying it then you know they will do very creative finance uh, creative numbers to show something the reality is this you know the vehemence of the rhetoric has never been matched by putting money on the table this to my mind is actually the biggest uh, problem and it the and nowadays the the new narrative is you know private sector will come and put money now the reality is the private you know the private sector will follow if if that is the direction in which the world is moving so ultimately that kind of green finance climate finance has to come from governments has to come from multilateral development banks it has to be government led so that private sector feels that's where it is moving and let me make a business out of it so i i feel that the very basic issue still uh, you know is uh, is still sort of very unsatisfactory it is not Uh, i mean in many ways the developed world is being uh, is stringing the developing world along and there is mounting uh, frustration i think in large parts of the global south uh, south on this maybe we could open up for a couple of questions um could you please pass the mic around if you are asking a question if you could please identify yourself and then ask